Mike Manuel, my good friend Brent Harrison is with us tonight. We're going to have a time. I hope you're ready. Well, you're never going to find me in a three-piece suit. Judging and condemning all the folks in the pew. Religion never did what grace can do for the law. And this guitar I play makes a fine full fit. I can sing you a sermon you won't ever Tatum, Teresa Allen, Mary Ordway, Marilyn Ware, Maggie Rhodes, Karen Murphy, Shirley Turner, Sonny Walker, and I know you probably invited some friends, so if you see some names on there, you recognize yeah, Absolutely. We'll All do. right. These, these here are these faithful people. Boy, I'm sweating like I'm telling you. Uh, Bridget King, who else? Heidi Heron, Jonathan Goodman. Hey, Shirley Turner, Sharon Payne Wood. That's James' sister, Jane Payne's sister. So good to see you on here. Let's see who else. Judy. That's Aunt Judy. She's up from East Tennessee. She's here with us tonight. Marjorie Harper. Harper, there's Julie. That's my daughter. Mm -hmm. uh, who else we got? Karen Murphy. Y'all just keep on. See, they like their name called, so they'll just mm -hmm. keep going. There you go. And they know I love saying it, too. Tammy Renee. Well, that's somebody yeah, we know. Yeah, that's Tammy. Katrina Rhodes, Shirley Turner Lee, Robert Feathers, Betty Kaufman, Linda Gale. Hey, look, we got to let y'all build up. Look, we got 106 on here already. That's a good that? sign. That's a good sign. That's a good sign right there. I am just delighted tonight to have a, a, a new friend, uh, new friends, I should say, Brent and Jade Harrison. Uh, not new to singing country or the style of music or being good for all that matter, but new to our little Christian country world. I call it little, but I don't, it's not really little. It's, right, uh, it's right. big. I, I never will forget, I was uh, rehearsing, Brent, at the Ryman for a award show, mm -hmm. and Mark Wills was there. 
and his band. And uh, the, mostly the band was getting everything ready for his song that he was going to do. And I remember sitting down and talking to one of them guys in the band. They said, you know, Mark would love to do this if he could just make money. Mm. You know, if you could just make a living. Mm -hmm. So it let me know right off that the good stuff, you know, uh, Jacob's Ladder, some of those yeah. songs that he did. Yeah. Uh, these guys love this positive message country music. They do. But there's never been a big enough genre to, to support us. But we're working on that right now. And I'll tell you right now, you're going to be delighted. Let's see what... They looking at you, so I'm, I'm just talking. I, yeah, that's all right. Uh, but Brent's going to do something for us tonight, and uh, and and all through the show now, uh, we'll be putting Brent's information up. He's got a brand new killer album, folks. I encourage you to write this number down. Go to the website. Is that that's where they're going to order? It. Absolutely. And of course, all of his stuff. You can follow him. There it is, right there. His Facebook, Twitter, Instagram. Yeah. Uh, and of course. One thing I tell everybody, don't forget that Brent Harrison Music, music dot com. Dot com. That's, right. that's where you're going to get the stuff. That's yeah. where you and it's uh, it's also available for digital download um, on iTunes and Google Play and all of the all of the download sites. I, I wasn't sure about that, yep. but now I am. We, we would have put you some up there. So, well, they see yeah. iTunes advertise all the time. Yeah. So now you know you, you can get it, and uh, let's... <laughs> Let's listen to why you want to get it. How about that? And uh, Brent, just whatever you feel like doing, man, I just, uh, I'm just delighted you're here. Oh, I'm, I'm not just that. talking. <laughs> I'm really excited. Well, I am too, Mike. We're we're glad to be here, and uh, we're gonna have a good time. Here's uh, here's a real good day off the brand new album. More? Yeah, probably a little bit. Sign in our next door neighbor's yard. A sign of the times, saying times have come. I saw him this morning in his old driveway. I could tell he couldn't wait to see. Man, I got my old job back. Looks like he's gonna stay.
good did I tell you or not? Did I not tell you that it was going to be good? And here it is, and it's good just like I thought. Amen. Hey, folks, that's that's what we're talking about. And, of course, you can tell because that number is climbing on up there, and uh, you guys are enjoying this. So don't forget <clears throat> Brent harrisonmusic.com absolutely and of course like he said you can download it on itunes and most social media sites and uh, get you those digital downloads and so anyway well it's my turn i guess you could say and we don't really have to take turns i'm just uh yeah do it bro you know good music makes you want to do good music <laughs> i told a friend of mine one time i said when i hear you sing it makes me right mm. you know some people just have that little something and they they might not even be the best that you've heard, right. but they've got some, you know, and in the industry they call it the it or the star factor mm -hmm. and all that. But I'm going to tell you what it is. It's somebody allowing that, that genuine down-home heart feeling to come out. Yes. What are you saying? I'm saying it comes from the big man. That's where it comes. And Absolutely. he puts it in it, and, and it comes out. So anyway. No doubt. Yeah. Wow. I tell you right now, mm. I'm uh, I'm always trying to figure out what to sing. You know, <laughs> that that's great music there, and I I, I, I you, go on and on about it. But let me let me see what I can do here. I did this song right here for about ten years before I recorded it, <clears throat> and uh, I was so happy to get it on tape, as they say. Mm -hmm. But uh, I wrote this song with a couple of guys that are good songwriters. We stayed up all night, as a matter of fact. And it was my first experience writing with somebody that actually added something to the equation. Right, brought something you know, to the table. Yeah, sometimes you write with people and you can tell you're pulling them along. Mm -hmm. But on this night, and, and these two guys, Jason Hargrove and a friend of mine called Dub Shelton, I don't know if you know either one of them. Yeah, I don't think so. Uh, Jason's originally from Oklahoma and Dub's from Texas and he used to stay with Dub when I'd go out there and sing on them poor concert tours where you just made enough money. <laughs> you had to borrow a bum a place to stay. But man, we had a good time. It wouldn't take nothing for those memories. Absolutely. But we wrote this song. It's called I Get Him Back and, and the story behind it and, and I want you to talk about uh, stuff that you, that, that you write. Absolutely. People like to know it. Now there'll be people on here saying shut up and sing but <laughs> there's there's more people that want to know about sure, the inspiration. Sure. Absolutely. But I was singing in a church in Texas. Uh, I forget where it was exactly. And I had, I had grabbed my guitar and my stuff, and I was coming off the stage and walking to the back to the record table like we do. Mm -hmm. And this little lady grabbed my arm. She she was probably 75. And she said, son, can I talk to you for a minute? And she had a grip on me. And I said, well, I guess so, you know. <laughs> she said... My grandmother was 84 when she passed. Mm. My mother just passed, and, and she was what, however old. She said, but while you was up there singing, I got both of them back for a little while. Ooh. And I thought, dear God, let go of me, lady, so mm. I can go write this down. Mm. And so that was the inspiration. But we got together, and in a, in a, I've got a cousin that lives in Shawnee, Oklahoma, and I was staying at his place. And we stayed up there in that thing awake all night long and wrote this song. Didn't come out the way I thought it would, but I sure do like it. It's called I Get Him Back for a Little While. A little rusty, broken tip. Hold it tight, son, so the handle don't slip. Close it up right when you're through with it. He was always saying things like that. It's just an old timer. No, it ain't worth much. But I wouldn't trade it for a brand new book. It's old and it's so out of style.
tattered edge, missing pages, holding tight, son, it's the rock of ages. Pay attention when you read. I can promise you that you're gonna need it. And though he left us, he's never really gone. It all adds up to what you can count on. It may be old, but it sure ain't out of style. Cause every time I read it, I give him back. chance to take this thing sky high tonight Amen. in my experience Amen. we're only uh 19 minutes into the show and we're sporting right around 200 been up as high as 220 look like Amen. so i want you to sing us a song that uh everybody wants to hear talk absolutely about absolutely i i um guys i grew up in a small town um in south alabama just outside of thomasville a little community called chilton alabama and uh, and so I came from a, a, a musical family, and uh, we grew up singing the Southern Gospel Quartet, uh, a family quartet, much like yourself. Yeah, yeah. And um, and so I I didn't have much choice in this thing, Mike. I've been on stage since <laughs> I was five years old singing, and uh, started playing guitar when I was thirteen. And um, and you're good at it. I want to say. Well, thank you. I love and appreciate good guitar player. I'll, I'll shut up. Now. Amen. <laughs> That's good. Uh, I appreciate that. We uh, I, I started playing guitar when I was 13, and um, and and at 15, I heard Randy Travis's "Storms of Life" album for the first time. Yeah. And uh, I, f I fell in love with that that style of of country music, um, and so I, I was saved as a young a at a young age and. And I knew, uh, but I, I, I love that country music, so I took off chasing that. Yeah. And uh, But I tell you, uh, family for us was a big, big thing. And uh, every Saturday, we'd go over to, to me, Ma, and Granddaddy's, and, and uh, all, all, all the cousins and boys would stay in the, in the hay fields and, and work, work the farm, and, and then uh, me, Ma, would be working on it on a big meal and oh, we yeah. come come back in at lunchtime and, and boy all the cousins and uncles and aunts would sit around this big old table which right now that that exact table is in my parents house oh, and uh cool. yeah so we get to get to experience that every time we go home too but anyway family was a big thing yeah. so when i first moved to town i sat down with a couple of friends of mine to write <clears throat> and uh and we were reminiscing uh mike about um just about our time at our grandparents house mm -hmm. growing up you yeah. know uh, with family, yeah. and so we 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 just got to to the point where we said, you know, that don't much happen anymore. Yeah. 
mm-hmm. that we that we take time to to sit around a table and and spend time together. We live in such a fast paced society mm-hmm. that we just don't take time to do that much anymore. That's right. And so we need and, and so we said, you know what, we need to write that. Uh, we uh, we were blessed to have uh, great family and great upbringing. Yeah. And uh, and so we need to write that. And so we did, and uh, and, and we talked about just the different things that uh, uh, that happen uh, around the table. And so that's yeah. the name of this song. It's on, on the brand new album, so we hope you guys like it. Called Around the Table. <laughs> But if she is, she's already in love with you. Because <laughs> this is her kind of music. Well, right? that's that's what we want for mamas to love us. You know, any, they, any. these they, and they, people try to tell me people don't like these story songs and battle. Let me tell you something. Oh, you're mistaken. That's right. People live in the real world, and they're 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 watching the news all day long, and they're not getting anything real. Mm-hmm. I've been on the news before in a negative way, and let me tell you. I know what they filmed, and I know what they showed. Yep. It's a little deal called editing, and it's not real. That's right. And so this is real, folks. And, man, that's good stuff, Brent. I, mm. I, I can't wait till we get to sit down and write something together. I just kind of feel like right. it's going to be uh, 
special. Yeah, I'm special. looking forward to that too, bro. <laughs> we're gonna do that. Well, you know, I, I've I've kept them at bay here a little bit, and uh, <laughs> I'm telling you, they'd let me sing "Phone in Heaven" back to back for an hour if I would. <laughs> Better bring and, it. And I almost have a few times, but yeah. you know. I said, I got other songs I want to sing. I, and of course, we're loving these songs you're doing. Yeah, but, uh, you know, I was counting them up today, uh, or not today, but the other day. And I think we're, it's safe to say we're about 55 million social media views. Now, that's a lot of views. It is. I remember when somebody asked me, how does it feel to have a million views? I said, I ain't never had a million or nothing. A million it or feel nothing. good. Absolutely. And, and of course, uh, People look at that and they say, boy, that guy's rolling in the dough. Let me tell you something. If I could get a nickel for every time it's played, I might have some money. Yep. But uh, it don't work like that. But what it does is reaches out and touches people over and over. So I better sing it. If there's a phone in heaven, here it is. Well, good morning, Jesus. Yes, it's me again. But I didn't call this time to get forgiveness for all those sins. I called and talked to Mom, and I know she's there with you. So if there's a phone up in heaven, then Jesus. Put me through and give me one more chance to tell her that I love her. Oh, let me hear her sing one more time. supporting that song and watching it over and over and over again. You know, we say 55 million views. Now, I, I got sense enough to know that's not 55 million different people. Right. Because I've heard people tell me I'll watch it every day. <laughs> so, you know, 
And w isn't this all right? Because hey, so sometimes the repetition is what you need, you know, to get it right. Yeah, absolutely. You know, still a lot of people, brother. It, it's a lot of people. And, and I used to, I, I say this sometimes, I used to go to all the streams. See, every time you put a video up on Facebook, it starts a stream. If you reshare that, it starts a new stream. Mm -hmm. And what happens with this song is people start commenting. I used to, boy, I'd, I'd follow those comments and I'd answer them. And, and uh, people pouring their heart out. I mean, yeah. they, they were, their soul was just opened up. And, and I felt so humbled to be able to just, that they would share it with me. But it got to where I just couldn't, I could not keep up with it anymore. Yeah. And that's a wonderful problem. Uh, oh, absolutely. But anyway, hey, we want to say uh, hi to our YouTube folks. We've got a, a little core group of folks that join us live on YouTube. That's great. And what's beautiful about uh, what we're doing here is that we used to have to do these shows and then I'd have to edit them. And then it, it'd take me three or four hours because I'm so picky. And then I'd put them up. But when this show is over, it'll automatically go up to YouTube and uh, people can watch it. And we have... Uh, I checked the other day. I think we've got 17,000 subscribers. I don't know where they come from, Brent. Wow. I thank God for them, Amen. and, and uh, I'd like to meet every one of them. But uh, <laughs> anyway, we're trying to build that audience up. I think we have 17 to 20, 24 or so that come on there faithfully, mm -hmm. and uh, so it's pretty cool. We're still rocking at 183, uh, and it, it's going to go up because, hey, folks, I want you to share. This yes. is a special night. Absolutely. Get on your phone and share out. Invite some people. There's some stuff going on here that will change people's lives. Well, you must think a lot of you say, no, I, <laughs> that's not the deal. The deal is the inspiration. We yeah. know where it comes from. We know why we get it. Absolutely. Have you ever wondered why somebody wrote a song that you know you could have wrote? It's because uh -huh. God said, I think they'll get the message across better than this one. Absolutely. And and I've seen songs. I said, man, I, I could have wrote that. Oh, I've but he didn't many give times. it to me. Or either, why didn't I think of yeah. that? I, I should I should have wrote that. A lot of a lot of times I say I was going to write that, but they beat me to it. You know, the old common one. But yeah. uh, we want you to share out and let people know. See, the reason we want this number to go up is because there'll be a lot of new people yeah. that are on here, and I've seen new people, and and no doubt, uh, I, I think our little ad that we run. All week is is over six thousand views or oh, close wow. to it. That's great. So Which I mean, was super by the way. Yeah. I mean, it just just turned out really. It good. just sounded good, and uh, yeah. boy, you really sounded good on that Stillery stage. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I know. That you was sounded neat. good anyway. But neat. anyway, the magic of TV and editing. But uh, Brent, you you got something else? Yeah, yeah. Let's now do look, can you hear yourself? All right. If you need yeah. some more, you tell me now. Yeah, yeah no, I'm. I'm I don't good, want brother. you going away. Said his was loud. He had me down. <laughs> I don't. Want, I want you to. No, be comfortable and make um, sure it's all right. Please. I'm good, man. I uh, um, we uh, we wrote this next song is uh, obviously off the brand new album too, and and uh, uh, we sat down and 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 wrote this with a good friend of mine, Keith Dozier, and uh, he just got uh, his first major cut. Mm. Um, he uh, had a cut on the brand new Montgomery Gentry album. Oh, and uh, so he got uh, song number twelve on there. So well. we're happy for Keith and and Anita and. Uh, and uh, those guys uh, yeah. at Neon Publishing, and, and uh, so just just tickle with that. Well, we wrote this with them. Hope you guys like it. Got a great message. It's called Sunshine. Sunshine. Brand new song in my heart. I felt a lot more joy and a lot less burden. And then suddenly it hit me. I gained more than I lost. But I, brother, we're going to start that one again. Because I started singing that same verse. <laughs> I turned my back on God when she left me I didn't care if I ever saw the light of day I blamed him for my broken heart and misery 
you I saw light shining through my window pane And lit up the dusty Bible on my table Got me thinking about when I was young Back then I was just like Cain and more like Abel Then suddenly it hit me I run to a different person And I have a brand new song in my heart I live with a lot more joy and a lot less burden And suddenly it hit me that I gained more than I lost When I felt the sun watching the comments here a little bit um, and people are enjoying your voice you know I, I like there my voice is kind of <clears throat> I don't know what it is I got something in it it ain't working good tonight but I'm glad you're here <laughs> Amen. And, uh, well, we're glad to be here too brother. anyway Shirley Hightower Dory Rotman I tell you what I want you guys to do and and uh, we got to get that number back up there it seems to be falling a little bit yeah I think they want to hear us talk about something so let's talk look if you are, this is your first time to uh, be on Mission Country on the Road to watch what's going on here. And you can see, man, we we got the green side lights. I'm telling you, it's going on tonight now. Man, right. <laughs> looking good. It's looking good. It's hot. Woo! It is hot. I'm sweating over here like crazy. But listen, if this is your first time to view, hey, Betty Edwards Card, we want you to let us know. Tell us this is your first time. Just... Just say, hey, this is John. This is my first time. I'm loving it or or whatever, you know. Mm -hmm. If we don't like it, we'll just delete your comment. No big deal. No <laughs> <laughs> Maggie Rhodes got your package today. God bless you. Maggie and Katrina live out in Fort Worth mm -hmm. and sent us a package of cookies. Ooh. I'm going to need you to help me with something. Mm, I, I believe I can handle I'm that. I'm going to see if we can help. Yeah. And, and they sent me a, a some kind of cooling rag, and you know what? I don't have it. <laughs> I should have had that. Well, i, I got to get used to it anyway. Yeah. But we want you guys to let us know. There's Michelle Nutting. There's Suzanne Anthony. Anthony Rochelle. Rochelle. Yeah. You got to watch him now. He'll jump from YouTube and he'll come over to Facebook and he'll okay. go back. You know, he, he gets around. There you go. He gets you around. Go. Vicky Mitchell Ford's their first time. Vicky, welcome oh. to Mission Country and Roll. Aren't you enjoying Brent? Absolutely. And, good uh, to have you. Man, it's just good to have you guys on here. And listen, don't forget. Now, now I just missed it. Tish, just put it up there. You can text 
the word Mike Manuel to 31996. There it is. And you can join our VIP text group. And then every time before the show comes on, you get a text to remind you. There you go. And I think it's working because uh, we've, we've had 30 or 40, I think, join up on that. It's real cool. So uh, who else we've got here? Cynthia Carl says, I have your CDs, but this is the first time seeing you. Well, I don't know if you're talking to me or Brent, but God bless you either way. Amen. And uh, look, if you guys don't have Brent's CD, I I've listened to it, and uh, it's one of them good ones, you know. There's not a lot of good ones that come around, you know. Yeah. I I've listened to them before. But anyway, Kana, uh, Jenkins, uh, boy, it's getting it's moving on me now. I can't keep up with it. But, it uh, is. Let's see. Marjorie, Dory Rotman. Brent has an amazing voice. There oh, you go. Well, thank you. Thank you so much. I know much. he's humble by that. I'm Absolutely. always humble when people say stuff like that. Absolutely. Who else we got here? Glenda Elkins. And she says, hello, Brent. So, well, there you go. Uh, anyway. How are you doing? Now, uh, Brent, I know you've got a, a, a Facebook page, Brent yes. Harrison 70. That's right. That's the, his Facebook handle. And we want you guys to go over and give Brent a like on his Facebook page. Absolutely. Because, like I always say, when you like a page that you like, you get connected with those people. No doubt. And then you become a follower and you get to find out what's going on and you're right. not wondering. Right. Well, I mean, you know, you, you keep up with our, what's going on with us on a daily basis or, or however, you know, however often you get on there. You, know, you can see where we're going to be and, and uh, <laughs> we like to interact and, and just... Uh, yeah. James welcome you. and Harriet and Mary says, we like Brent Harrison. You need to have him on board. <laughs> Amen. Well, well, thank you, James. I, I tell you right now, we listen to you people. We do. Yeah. And uh, because, and, and I've been trying, I've been, I'm so excited to have him here tonight. And uh, I've been wanting to get him on here. But, you know, life is just, uh, gets a little hectic sometimes. Oh, it does. It and does. There's a, there's hey, also, guys, look here. I got my country side of the cross Ooh, yeah. coffee. Uh, Mike's got him some over there too. Uh, make sure you head on over and get you one of these coffee mugs so you can have some mm -hmm. countryside of the cross coffee too. I, I like the way that sounds. <laughs> I have to do a commercial on that. that yeah, good. yeah, buddy. It used to be an old uh, commercial came on TV back when I was younger. That's a long time ago. And this old guy come on. I think he's a cowboy. He said, "How long has it been since you had a bowl of Wolf Brand chili?" <laughs> And he said, well, that's too long. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Yeah, anyway. Man. All right. Alicia Santos Duan. Of course, we've got the, the, the beauty of the Internet and Facebook and social media is, is that we've got people that come on from Hong Kong and all over the place. Oh, that's great. How do I get CDs? Well, Chris, uh, if you're looking for my CDs, they're, they're on the screen right there, MikeManual.com, or you can call the number after the show's over. Don't call it right now because nobody will answer it. We're busy. We're busy <laughs> singing. But uh, Jade is putting up, she has pinned up, that's yep. Brent's lovely, yep. wife, that is, lovely wife, has pinned up uh, how you get his if you missed it. Yep. BrentHarrisonMusic.com. That's right. That's it. And, uh, and of course, uh, if you happen to call here tonight after the show and you want to know how to get Brent's, we'd tell you. Yeah. So we're, we're going to help all we can here. This is this is really good. Yeah, and we appreciate that. All Justin right. Justin says, thank you, Jay. Yeah. Yeah, we appreciate y'all asking about that. Yes, sir. And support these guys and uh, these guys. This guy, and you, you've been supporting us by buying these T-shirts and coffee cups. And Somebody said the other day, hey, I want to know when you run a sale on them coffee cups because I want one. I didn't know this when I started fooling with these coffee mugs. Mm -hmm. You know, there, there's a there's a percentage that we try to add on to so it's worth fooling with. Sure. It's called profit, you know. Yeah. Profit is when you get more than you paid for it. And I thought everything was cool until all of a sudden I went down to the post office to see what it cost to mail it. <laughs> and you know, I have mailed these mugs before and they've cost $12. Just the postage, just the Well, it's, it's a great mug. It's a nice, hefty mug. It's worth it. Hey, it's not a, it's really, I know that you want a good deal. Who doesn't? But it's also, Betty, I know you got your, she said she loves her coffee cup. Oh, there's Steve Bridgman on there. Hey, too. Steve. Hey, hey buddy. <laughs> said, love you, love you guys both. And 
Well, thank you, Steve. I didn't even know you loved me, man. Two I appreciate great, that. <laughs> two great artists and friends. There you go. <laughs> Well, I need to, is it my shot? Did you yeah, see one? Yeah, I need that, to that. do something, dear the Lord God. I'll tell you right now. I, uh, let's see here. You, you singing them songs that get me stirred up. Man. There you I'll go. Tell you right well, now, good. get me stirred up. Make me feel good. Here's a song that was a uh, song of the year back in 2007. Nice hymns and, and uh, boy, it cost me a lot of money. But I, I sure am glad. <laughs> I, I'm sure glad that everybody got to hear it. It's called Back in the Country Again. Yeah. I wrote it when all them country fellas started singing our kind of songs. I said, that's the kind of stuff we write. here we uh the title cut of the of the new album is called being home and uh and i want to do that i i tell you um it was a song that i wrote mike uh for our wedding uh yeah and um uh, yeah and so uh we just uh i am so blessed uh to have such a special woman uh, in my life, as you are, as you oh, do, I, and no uh, argument there, man. <laughs> and uh, and so I tell you what, we uh, when Jade and I first met, it was a neat thing that happened. 
um, when we first met, there was a connection uh, that happened between us that we probably didn't realize what was going on at the time, but we had a strong, strong sense of home that we felt from, from each other. And, uh, and as we got to dating and talking more, and, and that just began to grow and That's cultivate. Cool, man. man, we just, I just knew I was at home. Sound like somebody had that planned out. I'm telling you what, I believe they did. <laughs> uh, and so, so uh, when I asked her to marry me, I sat down and I said, you know what, I, I wanna, I wanna write this. Yeah, I wanna yeah. put this, you know, uh, together in a song and give it to her. Yeah. And I got to thinking about that. I got to thinking about the the my time growing up mm -hmm. uh, at home. You know, I had a, I got great, great parents and great brothers and sisters. And we had a, and we, you know, we had our times where sure, we fought, sure. and, oh, sure. you know, yeah. like, like everybody does, but, but we had a, a great, great time at home. I got thinking about different things in my childhood and even today. Yeah. And so I put all that in the chorus and all of that reminded me of our relationship of That's being good. home. So it was That's like, awesome. like, you know, the, the hook line is that, you know, there ain't nothing like the feeling. Of, of of being home and and we've got uh, we've got some new t-shirts that's got that on there too so go there you go. Uh, go on the Facebook page you can go on the website and uh, and order you a your like the feeling of being home with a heart on there yeah. and uh, so we're tickled to death to have those yes, but listen sir. listen and, to this and this is the song that was on the the ad wasn't it yeah, uh, no, yes. Sunday's, uh, uh, this no, side. No, I'm sorry. This side, uh, this side I guess I like both of them. So <laughs> I'm sorry. Go on, be doing good. Uh, that's all right. Hope you guys like it. It's called Being Home. <laughs>
away Singing at the top of my lungs Trying all night Not to open my eyes No Santa's gonna come Yeah, you're like coffee on the back Riding my first quarter Can you imagine if we'd just done 30 minutes, we'd already been, look what we'd miss. This is the hardest thing. There's still 130, 227, 30 people on here, mm. and we're going to leave them here in a minute, and I just hate it. I know it. I hate it. It's like walking out of a crowd of people that want to hear you. I'm telling you. you know, I'm telling you. Thank you guys for being here. Thank you, Mike, for having oh, me man, on. You're, and you're welcome. And uh, we just appreciate that. And uh, I, I promise you we're going to have you back. Amen. And we, we're going to do this some more. It's just fun. And... Uh, Besides, I don't have to work but half as hard. <laughs> it's, it's like getting a break, you know. Yeah. But anyway, why don't we, uh, we got about two minutes left here and before that ending comes on. I always, sometimes I'll just break into a little bit. I, I noticed that, uh, let's see. I better shut up on the thing I'm getting out. Well, someday when this life is over, I'll fly away. Thank you.